Alright, so I just got done from GameStop, and I went in and I asked if they had any 3DS or DS games. Surprisingly, they did. They had quite a wide array of the 3DS Pokemon games. What? You can get DS and 3DS games at GameStop in 2023 in person? Yeah, apparently so. Here I have my copy of Super Mario 64 DS. After looking at it a bit longer, um, sorry for the glare. This thing looks incredibly damaged. That's besides the point. What the real point here is, is I paid uh, $39.99 for this copy of Super Mario 64 DS. It comes out to about $42.73 after tax with 7%. So, I first want to go over to the GameStop website and see if that I if I overpaid through GameStop prices. Because I know that sometimes the retail stores will uh, not update their prices as compared to their online store. And technically speaking, they're supposed to price match. Uh, and if you ask them to, they will. They're required by their own policy. But I didn't think about pulling up the GameStop app. I kind of just lied to the guy and said that I found my 3DS and I wanted to play some old DS games. So here we have Super Mario 64, but if you click on it, it has screenshots for Super Mario 64 DS. Okay, so with that out of the way, we've established the price being around $35 to $40 for Super Mario 64 DS when shopping with GameStop. The next thing I would like to do is go to eBay and look at prices for the game. Spoiler alert! The game's going to be a lot cheaper on eBay. So when you look up Super Mario 64, you're going to see a lot of listings that say buy it now, and most of them at the top are going to be sponsored. Do not pay attention to these sponsored buy it nows. These are inflated prices. Also, that's just 40 bucks for a sealed copy. I paid 40 for an opened copy. But anyways, you're going to scroll down, you're going to look at all these guys, and you're be like, okay, maybe you could justify that price. But the thing you really want to do when using eBay as a avenue to price your games is to go down here to the sold items thing, click it, and then you're going to get a real idea on how much these games are going to go for. So here's a buy it now, $34 with $6 shipping. Buy it nows are always inflated because you're getting the convenience of getting the game right then and there. But if you come down to these bids, this was one for about $27. Bids usually get one lower than buy it now listings. And that is because people don't want to waste time on bids. But most of the time, people that are bidding already have a price in mind of what they're willing to pay. Here's another bid, $20. Here was just a buy it now that sold for 30. Again, another bid, this one sold for about 26. The point I'm trying to make here is that GameStop is a little bit expensive. And when I say a little bit, I mean a lot of bit because this case is an absolute shit condition and I still paid over market value. I actually want to call up GameStop right now and ask them what the price is on a specific game. Hi, thank you for calling GameStop and Hickory. Hey, yeah, I was wondering if y'all had any 3DS or DS games. Um, we do. We have some. Pokemon X, Mario, Luigi... All right. Uh, what's the price on the Pokemon X? Pokemon X. It is. Let me get. Let me ring that up real quick. It is forty nine ninety nine. All right. And does that come with the case, or is it just like the cartridge by itself? It's just the cartridge. All right. Thank you. Okay. No problem. You have a great day. Okay, so as you can see, $49.99 for Pokemon X, cartridge only. Uh, that, that, that can't be right. Pokemon X, game only, $22, $5 shipping. Pokemon X, game only, $30, Pokemon X, game only, $30, Pokemon X, game only, $24.99, $5 shipping. So as you can see, GameStop was pricing it at $50 plus tax. With no case. I don't even think complete in box this game is worth that much. 35 complete in box. 45 complete in box. 38 complete in box. So you can look at all these listings right here. You know, you're anywhere from 35 to 40 complete in box. And GameStop is selling these games for $50. I would assume that in the year 2023, not many people are shopping at GameStop. Especially for the retro video game section. But this is just for any unsuspecting buyer that's trying to get into the 3ds ds just retro video games in general don't buy from gamestop because the prices if you like this video drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you're new i'll see you guys in the next video goodbye